My name is Benke Joyce, I'm 26 years old and uh, I'm a professional basketball player. I think um, from an early age I kind of gravitated towards basketball, just fell in love with the game. I didn't take it too seriously uh, up, up until the later teens and then that's when it really took off for me. And, and my parents um, were always very, very supportive of my basketball and it's not easy, I think, uh, when, when you're playing games that are an hour away, an hour and a half and they're working full time and doing their own things and to, yeah, to, to support me and even enable um, being able to play at a high level, making their own sacrifices was pretty big for me. I went down the um, college pathway without really putting too much thought into it from an earlier age. And it was sort of when that college pathway was, was quite new to Australians. I think now with some of the success um, of guys before, people have really started to realise that, you know, that's actually one of the places you want to be for development uh, and for your career. Thank you, Joyce. Off balance in the paint. Got it to go. I'd say the moment that you know, I kind of realised that it was something that I could do you know, as a career was my junior year. There was our Big Sky tournament. We were up against 6,000 odd people in the, in the stands just absolutely booing us. And I remember we were down by seven with two minutes to go. And when, when we kind of came back and they already had the, the mascot, you know, getting crowd surfing and stuff like that. And the, the moment that we came back from that, and that just feeling of like elation and and and, and joy, uh, I remember, you know, chase that feeling because there's nothing like it. That is it, and for the second time in school history, the Eastern Washington Eagles are going to the NCAA tournament. Going into different countries, I think as long as you have an open mindset to try things that you're not used to, and also just just being. Um, open to changing even your behavior to suit the customs that they're used to. Yes, it is um, tough to be uprooted from those that you love, but I can guarantee you if you embrace the team sport and go into things with an open mind, you'll develop some relationships that you would be kicking yourself if you, if you never got out of your comfort zone if I could recommend it to anybody, even if they have solid chances to play just in Australia, man, get out. I think it's a blessing to be able to utilize this game for world education. It's nice to see other places to live. Japan was one of the tougher places to live from a personal standpoint. The basketball was sensational. Their culture, of the fans, it's completely opposite to I think anywhere else in the world. And it's crazy, man. You you play you play away games where the the away crowd is cheering for you, and you know they'll sing your fight song at the end of the game as a player. Bow to every corner uh, of of the gym to show your respect, and they show their respect to you. So it's actually quite a lovely um, place to play. They're passionate, but they're very positive. So I think anyone who's seen me uh, play on the basketball court knows that I'm, I'm quite passionate, you know, and expressive. And anytime you can make those game-changing plays, whether it's a huge dunk or a, a big block that really gets everyone up on their feet, and um, it's, it's, yeah, it is, it, is, it is surreal. It's a great feeling because, you know, what goes on behind the scenes is a lot of hard work. But yeah, when, when all that hard work kind of comes to uh, fruition and you can you can do some of these things, man, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Oh, nice. oh, that was a long shot right. there by Banky Joyce. Nobody's anywhere near Joyce, and so he times it perfectly. Some of the games in college where you're playing in front of people that you've idolized for a long time growing up, Reggie Miller, Kevin Harlan, who you're playing 2K uh, as a kid growing up, and all of a sudden you have those guys, instead of talking in the video games, they're talking about you. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty damn cool. Bowen will tail him, and Von Hoff puts up a wild look at Oh! Slammed in, Vinky Joyce! Just hammered one home! <laughs> Thank you, don't be so mean, my friend! Moving forward in my career, my end goal, as I think it should be for any um, professional, is to play at the highest level that you can. Highest level being the NBA, 
And I definitely don't think that my progression as a basketball player has um, you know, peaked or anything like that. I still think I have a ways to go to reach perhaps my potential. And so I'm still, I'm still chasing that dream of mine. And I don't think it should be any different for anyone else.